hi everyone in this video i am going to explain about 4 by 1 multiplexer in detail so first i will explain about the block diagram and internal structure of the 4 by 1 multiplexer along its along with its operation later i will discuss how to write a vhdl program for this 4 by 1 multiplexer so we know multiplexer which is used to convert a parallel data into serial data multiplexer is used to convert a parallel data into serial data it is having 2 power n generally multiplexer is having 2 power n inputs and one output where n represents the number of input number of selection lines number of selection lines okay this is the general representation of the multiplexer 2 power n by 1 2 power n inputs and one output here we have considered for n is equal to 2 for n is equal to 2 means there are two selection lines then it will be 2 power 2 that is equal to 4 inputs and of course always one output for the multiplexer multiplexer any number of inputs always output is 1 ok so in this way if you are taking a multiplexer this is a 4 by 1 multiplexer and the inputs are i0 i1 i2 i3 along with these we are also having an enable pin along with these three inputs uh, four inputs i0 2 i3 it also has an enable pin and of course one output and has two selection lines s1 s0 okay this is the representation of 4 by 1 multiplexer so four inputs to be selected one out of these four we are having a multi a selection line set s0 s1 as the as the number of lines n is equal to 2 we are having two selection lines and enable pin enable pin completely switches on or switches off the uh, switches of the 4 by 1 multiplexer chip okay let us see the truth table of this one a simple truth table so enable pin selection lines s1 s0 and output y when enable pin is equal to 0 i told you there are two types of enable pins active high enable pin active low enable pin here for example just we have considered active high enable pins but generally most of the ic's most of the ic's are having active low enable pin active low enable pin that means when input is equal to when enable pin is equal to 0 then the chip is enabled when enable pin is equal to 1 then the chip is disabled okay for example here just we have considered to understand enable is equal to 0 means it is in off state and 1 means it is in on state so when it is in 0 irrespective of selection lines output is 0 when enable pin is equal to 1 chip is activated depending on the selection lines s1 and s0 output y will be chosen out of 4 input lines so s0 s1 both are 0 0 0 0 corresponding to the binary form 0 means that selects the i0 input and enable equal to 1 0 1 means corresponds to 1 i1 and enable equal to 1 1 0 means 2 so second line and 1 1 it is selecting i3 this is the just a basic uh, root table of the multiplexer a 4 by 1 multiplexer so four input lines will be selected based upon the selection of selection lines okay now let's see the internal architecture internal architecture with the basic gates and or inverted gates with the help of this truth table so internal structure so internal structure s1 s0 and also we have an enable pin to select the 
enable or disable condition of the chip so s1 it is a complement form of s1 s0 it is the complemented form of s0 and enable pin is high now first one see when i1 come when i0 is output when i0 comes when y is equal to i0 s1 s0 both are complement forms 0 0 and enable equal to 1 okay that means for this we can write the expression as we can write the expression as i is equal to i0 y is equal to i0 when enable a and s1 bar and s0 bar that is the meaning of this one and similarly this one is enable s1 bar s0 and similarly for this one it is enable into s1 s0 bar and here it is enable s1 s0 so these are the expressions for the output for these we need to draw the gating circuit so s1 bar s0 bar enable okay s1 bar s not bar enable and when then output will be i not and similarly this is i1 what i told you for i1 s1 bar s not s1 bar s not enable and similarly s1 s0 bar enable it is i2 for i3 both are true form s0 s1 both are in the true form and it is enable form okay so all these are connected to or gate all these are connected to or gate so four input or gate this is the output y this is the output y okay very simple now let us see a data flow model for this uh, four by one multiplexer so data flow model so we are writing the vhdl code in data flow model so library i triple e use i triple e dot std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all so already we know these two lines library and its package so entity entity max hyphen 4 by 1 is port of port of so take enable pin enable pin as it is a single one in std underscore logic and i as input which is of vector size 4 bits so std underscore logic underscore vector of 3 down to 0 selection line yes in std underscore logic underscore vector of 1 down to 0 now y which is an output std underscore logic it is a single one these are the ports for this 4 by 1 multiplexer and max 4 by 1 architecture 
data flow of mux 4 by 1 is consider a signal okay here we are writing the data flow model conditional statement data flow model signal x std underscore logic begin begin so here we are taking a conditional assignment statement which is with the select so with yes select with s select first we assign based upon the selection line we assign the output to input to x and later we will first we will represent y is equal to x depends on enable condition so x is equal to i of 0 when 0 0 in yes and i of 1 when sorry 0 1 and i of 2 when 1 0 and y i of 3 i of 3 when 1 1 y is equal to x when enable is equal to 1 else y is equal to 0 end data flow ok this is the 4 by 1 multiplexer data flow VHDL code very simple just we have taken a selection line yes the based on the selection line input combinations we have assigned the i0 i1 i2 i3 to a particular signal later depends on enable whether enable is equal to 0 or 1 depends on that we will assign y is equal to x okay this is data flow model in the next video we will discuss demultiplexers thank you